Today, Russia claimed full control of eastern Ukraine. President Volodymyr Zelensky acknowledged his military was forced to withdraw from Lysyshchensk, the last city still under its control in the Luhansk region. The move brings Russia closer to capturing the entire Donbass region, but Zelensky has vowed to regain control of the area. CBS's Holly Williams reports 600 miles west of there from the port city of Odessa. Just outside Odessa, Ukrainian military investigators sifted for evidence today. They called Saturday's attack on this residential neighborhood a possible Russian war crime. It shattered this apartment building and Ukrainian officials say it killed 21 civilians, including a child. Ukraine says Russia hit the neighborhood with three Soviet-era anti-ship missiles fired from the Black Sea. This coastline is supposed to be a summer resort. Now it's also a war zone. It's difficult to believe that almost exactly a year ago, we were on board an American warship, the USS Ross, as it patrolled the Black Sea on a friendly training exercise with Ukrainians and other allies. In those days, the targets were simulated and a new war with Russia seemed unlikely. But there were already signs of brewing trouble. We were repeatedly circled by Russian fighter jets and shadowed by four Russian ships. They're keeping an eye on you. Probably. But Commander John D. John told us it would take much more than that to provoke a clash. If somebody opened fire on you, then that would uh, warrant you taking self-defense measures. Now Russia has opened fire, a bloody invasion of its neighbor, and Ukrainians are fighting for their very survival. Holly, Russia is also claiming that Ukraine targeted a residential area in the city of Belgorod. How significant is that? Well, Jerika, Russia claims there was a whole series of explosions in the very early hours of this morning, hitting several apartment buildings and reportedly killing three people. And this is certainly not the first time that Ukraine has been accused of carrying out an attack in Belgorod, which is just over the border inside Russia. However, at this point, we don't have any independent confirmation about exactly what happened. Holly Williams, thank you.